So apparently Edna's got the ability to get a barrel of soup for charity whenever she needs one for various charitable institute that she helps to run. And we've already arranged that the Stay Sober Society will be meeting at Dr. Brown's place. I'm sorry. What I'm the friend. hell, Matches? You, you got Kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. So, when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. Hmm, <laughs> I missed a few dialogues. Uh, never mind. Here we go. I guess you won't talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. Isn't a soup kitchen an odd line of business for a guy like you? I like soup. Plus, I got a heart as big as all outdoors. Uh, buff a little harder. I want to see myself in the toes. How come you won't let the Stay Sober Society hold their meeting in the cellar of your soup kitchen? We got other plans for that cellar, and it don't necessarily involve staying sober. Hey, I represent United Charities of Hill Valley. Can you authorize me to pick up soup from your establishment and deliver it to some very deserving souls? Nah, that Strickland dame's got the charity record pretty much locked up. No point in giving her competition. Edna Strickland thinks your soup kitchen might not be on the up and up. That dame gets on my nerves. Got a great pair of gams, though. So, one more thing about that hat. You're testing my patience, boy. Can I have some peanuts? I work for peanuts. I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Hey, kid. Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! What'd you do? Give me that hat, you lousy crook! Emmett! a monkey out of Kid Tannen! Ow! Fix me up! Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out! So, now we've got Arthur's hat. He's gotta find out where he's in hiding. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy. Can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Peanuts! Where is he going? Only one way to find out. Huh. 
Deja vu. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! Come down, McFly. You've been served. What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. What if I make it into a paper airplane and he catches it? Hey, Arthur. Can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We represent the law. You don't want to go against the law, do you? No, but I don't want to go against Kid Tannen either. And he ordered me to stay put till he gives the word. Sorry. Some other time. What now? It's me again. Please come down. Why? We've got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me I can leave. Sorry. Some other time. So Artie McFly is not coming out of that place unless Kid Tannen tells him he can. Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, Matches. From there, you son of a bitch! Right now! That's an order! Don't make me angry, Smucko! Get down here and face the music! Uh, get down You can't from get there. away that easy! Nobody puts one over on Kid Tannen and lives to tell about it! You're dead meat, twerp! You better start composing your epitaph now, because I'm gonna carve it into your face! In bullets! What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Cha-ching! Now we just gotta get out of here. Only making it worse for yourself! The longer you Over stay up Artie. there, the longer I'm gonna take a... Einstein! Help! Einstein, Help. sick balls. Lay off! Get away from that crazy get nut! Go, go away, dog! We're busy here! Go on, scram! Hey! Where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot! Now, all you need to rule the past is a tape recorder. What do you think? 
heck you doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's Kid! Right away, boss! Ah, where's Kid? Sucker. Arthur McFly? Yeah? You've been That's served! For you. Thanks! A subpoena? Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into- Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But Kid'll kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, I hate doing stuff like that. But I won't have to much longer. No? Once we get that 190 proof alcohol and build my rocket drill, my future will be set and I'll be able to quit this crummy job. Oh, right. So now we got the subpoena delivered. Emmett's gonna be free to complete his rocket drill. Now we just gotta get the fuel for it. Q-Ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh, soup. Soup soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right, just try the soup. Well? Ah, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. Where do you think you're going? The kitchen? The kitchen's for management only, Rummy. Well, probably gotta sneak around the side. Hey, this is a fire hazard. There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. If only I knew a law clerk. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. Any ideas about how to get the hooch? Hooch? The alcohol, Emmett. Ah, one might come to the conclusion that the hooch is being hidden in some of those barrels. You're probably right, but which ones? Now, if I could get my hands on some of those barrels, I could weigh them and compare their specific gravity. Specific gravity? Come on, Emmett. Kids' goons aren't going to let us do an experiment on their barrels. No, I suppose you're right. We'll just have to ask the guy behind the counter. 
Why? Ask him if any of his barrels are filled with illegal moonshine? Get real here. Well, I imagined a modicum of subtlety would be used. Subtlety, right. Damn it, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Oh, well, Emmett's working on that. Let's try working on cue ball. Excuse me. You talking to me? So this place used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean used to be? <clears throat> Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy and the not so well to do. And no other purposes whatsoever. Right. What's a tough guy like Kid Tannen doing running a soup kitchen? Mr. Tannen purchased the soup kitchen from the Sisters of Mercy in an effort to repair his reputation as a respectable community figure after his fine name was besmirched by the malignant and malicious malicious the actions of the misguided vandals that 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 done burned down his place of business. It's speakeasy. I cannot confirm nor deny any claims of so-called illegal bootlegging at the the <laughs> Just eat your damn soup, pipsqueak. Why is the soup in a barrel? Because it's hard to ladle off the floor. Can I have a bowl of soup? You're a soup kitchen. What do you think? It was a mighty big bowl. What kind of soup is this? It tastes like... scroll a ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Well, I know when I make soup... First thing you want to put in is chili powder. Giving the soup a little heat, maybe? Why, is it getting cold? No, I, I mean, like chili powder. Muy caliente. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Actually, I like it spicy, too. But it's got to be edible for the common folks. <laughs> Come on, a little dash isn't going to kill anyone. Aw, oh, heck. You got moxie, kid. Let's spice it up a bit, shall we? Have you fine folks at home figured out the puzzle yet? Yes, cue ball has to move the rack with the illegal bootleg off the trap door to reach the spice rack. How's it going over here, Emmett? Still haven't gotten that door yet, have you? Eureka! Nope. What was that? Pretty neat, Doc. <laughs> nope. I'm, I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. That's important. For a backboard. Emmett. Yes? Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. Obviously, this kitchen isn't the speakeasy. Indeed. This must be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Right, that might explain the elevator. We'll score that hooch somehow. 
I'll keep cogitating. It's going to take more than chili powder okay. to save this stuff. I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried... Paprika? Paprika? Uh, I, I just think you could use a little eh, color. Color? Hmm. Color and spice. know the signal to operate the elevator is him hitting on his pipe. Ahem. Ah, Miss Strickland, come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. And they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all I have to do is to get it from her somehow. I suggest clubbing her in the back of the head. Or sticking Einstein on her. <laughs> 